Greetings, Zero here, and welcome back to the Pokemon Pure Green Green Team Run. Last time we acquired and evolved Grimer. So I'll just show you here. Whip, whoops. And we did a whole lot of level grinding. But this time we're gonna do a little bit more of that and also get the Soul Badge. Because after this, of course, we have the whole Sylph Company fiasco, and then we have to fight Sabrina. Which is not gonna be easy. Okay. Yeah, Scyther should make quick work of all these psychic Pokémon. Oh. Smartass. Fine, be that way. For the love of God, people, I'm recording. Stop messaging me! Okay. Actually, let's switch off for the next one. Let's go to Muck. Oh, fuck off. Fine, be that way. Mm -hmm. So, there we go. Nah. Anyways, eh, he said he dropped his balls. That's funny. Anyways, we're gonna go back and heal real quick. Oh, and before I forget, I wanted to show you guys something. Something that I actually did forget earlier. So, nope, not this one. Not this one either. It's one of these buildings. This one right here. So, you talk to this guy right here. And you can get Lapras early! So yeah, that's nice. You wanna get your hands on Lapras after being Team Rocket? There you go. That's how you do it. Back at the gym. We shall see. I guess we're gonna have to heal now then. This should be easy now. Two swords dances. This will be a slam dunk. That was fast. Yeah, Scyther's awesome. Honestly, I think Scyther's probably gonna be the MVP of this run. And we get TM Toxic. Now, if I still had Leech Seed on Venusaur, here's an interesting little glitch in Gen 1. If you have Leech Seed applied while Toxic is in effect, Leech Seed's damage also increases exponentially. Actually, I could teach Leech Seed to something with a TM. Uh, I'll think about it. The two more Apex Chips. Okay, so while I was doing some off-screen grinding, turns out, Victor Bell can learn Self-Destruct. Which is an interesting move in this hack, because it has changed it to basically Flare Blitz. So it's a Fire-type attack that does recoil damage. I think that might be the only Fire-type move I have on my team right now, so yeah, that's actually going to come in handy. And rather fittingly, at level 50, Muck learns Explosion, which is like Self-Destruct, but it's Rock-type. Okay, so this time, we're actually going to do the Ranger Hunt mode. This has trainers and a step counter. And, uh, so yeah. 
You have to beat all five of them in order to get the reward. And you can only really do this after you get Surf, last I checked. Go away! Here's one. Oh, fuck off. Alright, well that's Ranger number one down. We'll top off health, and we're also gonna save. So that way, I don't have to pay to come back in if I can't find the rest. Oh, and there's a nugget next to this guy. So as you might imagine, I don't remember exactly where all the different rangers are. And, so yeah, another quality of life improvement. If you use Surf on a map, you don't need to use it again. Until the next time you come in it. I forget, is this one of the rangers? Nope. Let's heal. Over here we have a Max Revive. Nope. We go up here, and here's another one of the Rangers. So this is a guy you're supposed to fight last. I don't care. We'll just heal up real quick. Yeah, this is the tricky one. Oh, fuck off! No, don't, don't even think about it. Alright, well, we finally got rid of that one. Level 100 Magic Cart. Okay. I'll just set up. Yeah! So that's another ranger down. Over here we have iron, which we didn't get last time. Here's the third ranger. Back to sleep. Go back to sleep. Okay, well, let's make this easier on myself. You self-destruct. See? Okay, well, fine. Be that way. That's another ranger down. Here's ranger number four. Well, fuck you too. That was predictable. Put it to sleep! Yeah, note to self, get some carbos for muck. Egg bomb, so dragon type attack. Nah, I've already got. Eh. Yeah, we'll get rid of Flash. It's not that powerful anyway. Now, where the hell is the last Ranger? Ah, oh, went right past this guy. Yep, so here's the last Ranger. Go to sleep! Well, fuck you too.
And that's all the Rangers beaten! Which means we get a special prize! A very cool prize! So this is a hyperball. What does a hyperball do, you might ask? Well, it's basically the infinity minus one sort of attack. It's like a master ball. It is guaranteed to capture a Pokemon that is at one third health or below. And I know exactly where I'm going to use this one. Oh, now we have Surf, we can finally get this. TM16, which is... Amnesia. Oh, that's a good move. Let's see, who would I want to teach that to? Hmm... Hmm, because there's some good options here. Huh, decisions, decisions. You know what? It might just have to be Executor. Yeah. Hmm. We're gonna keep Sleep Powder, I think. Yeah, because then I could just use Sleep to set up. So, for any one of you who managed to guess that we're going to the power plant next, congratulations, you get a gold star. And actually, I probably don't need to use Hyperball, because Sleep sets their catch rate to a fixed number, I think. Hmm. Different color Poliwag. Looks kind of diseased. And that's Thunderbolt, last I checked. Ooh, Muck can learn it, but, eh. I think his moveset's good as it is. <laughs> Basically guaranteed crits plus ability to poison. Yeah, that's a good move. Okay. Now let's just heal that poison real quick. Now we arrive at the power plant. Which... I don't know if the episode will have aired by now, but in my... Cancel Complete... Uh... Shiny Fire Monotype, I point out that this is actually based on a real place. Specifically, it's the Takai Nuclear Power Plant. Which is Japan's first nuclear power plant. Oh! It's a bolt orb. Go away. Actually, I should probably switch over to something that can put things to sleep, because you can get uniquely colored bolt orb and electrode here. We'll go with. That isn't one of them, of course. Anything over here? Oh! Walled Electrode. Alright, well, nothing over there. This way. The M forty seven, that's sludge. And there is one of those blue Voltorb. Fuck off. Go the fuck to sleep. There's another one. And another Voltorb. 
lot of these things in here. And that's... Thunder! Another blue Voltorb! In fact, I think that might be new to this version, where the sprite will change if you pick up a trap ball. Yeah, you can find Wall Jolty on here, that's cool. That was... Rare Candy! Good stuff. In fact, let's put that in the PC real quick. And you, and you, and you. There's a hit point up. Can I use that on anything? Yep. Okay, uh, I think I managed to boost everything speed to max, so I'll just sell that. Now we go around this way. Hmm. Might be some hidden items around here somewhere. Item ball, and there's a blue electro! Yeah, you better. Now we're gonna catch you. Okay, we're gonna use. Hmm. I'm contemplating. Okay, you know what? This is as good a time as any to demonstrate the hyperball. Remember, every time I complete Ranger Hunt, I can get one more of those. I think I could actually buy them later. So that's done. Now... Your Zapdos. Rise and shine. Just to be careful with that. Get in the ball. There we go! And I think that's a good place to wrap up, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you see, like, subscribe, check out my Rumble page, and I will catch you all next time.